all, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess. I am here tonight for another one of my um, videos. It's actually going to be um, a poetic expression moment slash um, a spirit reading that I did on a specific topic. Okay. So I hope each and every one of you are doing well and feeling well on tonight. Um, give me just a minute to light my sage, honey, and cleanse and clear out any negative energy that wants to come through. Um, while I'm working on this, so thank all of you for... Um, watching okay including the nosy haters thank you all for watching you obviously care more about me than you like to admit because you'll stay watching me nevertheless um i'm just gonna cleanse out um some more energy here guys and then we're going to get started okay so i'm going to start off with the um poetic expression moment and then um i am going to get into the spirit reading okay Okay, guys, so tonight's poetic expression moment is entitled Black Freemasons and Eastern Stars, okay? Um, many of you who have heard my poetic expression moments before, you know that this is original poetry or just written word created by myself, and um, I recited... Um, to you all, okay, verbally. So, we're going to get right into it. Like I said, this is entitled Black Freemasons and Eastern Stars, okay? So, supposedly pro-black men and women working hard for the enemy. Inquiring minds want to know, though, how could you stoop so low? Partaking and participating in fallacy against your own people? So let me get this right. Black men and women taking an oath to organizations that wasn't intended nor designed or orchestrated for you. I get it. I know it's levels to it. But rather third or 33 degree Masons, surely you know whom Albert Pike is, don't you? Head Klansmen, notorious racists, whom clearly made the statement no niggas allowed in this here organization. So how could you sell out when you're the superior race, yet and still you felt compelled to join running unanimously to the 33rd and the third degree white Grand Master Mason to beg for equal opportunity participation only with the man acceptance in 1787, Prince Hall Black Freemasonry was born, along with the Black Boulet, Black Pastors, and the Black Gatekeepers. But don't get it twisted. Y'all ain't really running nothing solely alone. I mean, I happen to know all your orders come down from wealthy white Masons high up in power who have trained you to protect your oppressors while secretly hating and killing off your own race for nothing more than temporary comforts and a few incentives. To be honest with you, y'all are nothing more than the new infiltrated Black Panther Party being run, ruled, and controlled by the government, bobbing and weaving at their every beck and call. What a low down dirty shame of a way to waste a black life. Okay, guys. So, you clearly heard the spoken word 
in which I had for these black Freemasons and these black Eastern stars, okay, who parade around like they are um, uprighteous pillars of the community when really they are not, okay? And that's just a matter of fact, okay? This is historical facts. Everything that I just said, you cannot deny it. You cannot call me a lie. It is a fact. Okay, so you all, I went on to do a spirit reading pertaining to the subject, okay? So, um, this spirit reading is going to be about um, the, the Black Freemasons as well, okay? Um, and as well as the Eastern Stars, okay? But predominantly referring to black freemasonry okay so i started off this reading by asking my spirit guides um a simple question starting off with the eastern stars i asked my spirit guides um are eastern stars initiated witches my spirit guides tell me that yes indeed they are all initiated witches apparently possibly maybe this is a part of their initiation into eastern stars and for those of you who are not familiar with eastern stars eastern stars are nothing more than the female version of freemasonry which is quite interesting because as many women love to parade around like you know they're all pro-woman and you know this that and the other technically um, even Eastern Star Freemasonry is done so with the authority and the watchful eye of a male Freemason, okay, like a Master Mason or something, okay, so they can't even have their organization solely on their own, so like how in power are they, really? Nevertheless, my spirit guides tell me that the government, um, is controlling black organizations such as Freemasonry's, such as the Black Boule, such as um, black pastors, as well as the black gatekeepers. My spirit guides clearly um, clarified that, okay? So I asked my spirit guides, do the white Freemasons control the black Freemasons? And my spirit guides told me, yes. Um, I asked my spirit guides, are black masons being used to target the black community? My spirit guides tell me, indeed, yes, they are being used for such a purpose as that, okay? I asked my spirit guides, are black masons being recruited to kill off their own race? My spirit guides tell me, yes, they are. Um, also, my spirit guides tell me that black Freemasons are indeed Satanists. Many of them parade around like they are Christian, like they are upstanding, uprighteous, pillars of the community, okay? But they are in fact Satanists and they hide it from everyone, okay? This is like, you know, a part of the secret that is within their secret society. It's, it's really crazy. Um, so I asked my spirit guides, are sex rituals going on in the Masonic Lodge? My spirit guides tell me, yes, there are um, sex rituals that are going on in these Masonic Lodges, which are very private and cut off for the non-initiated, um, non-members of the Freemasonry group or whatever. However, they have these, I, I guess you could say, you know, high-ranking, high-level pro-ho prostitutes that come in um, with them and they do these secret sex rituals in the Freemasonic lodges, okay? I asked my spirit guides as well, are satanic um, practices being performed in Masonic lodges? My spirit guides tell me, um, yes, indeed, they are. Um, And so um, my spirit guides um, continue to tell me that the powers that be use black Freemasons to set up and sacrifice black people, okay, as well. 
so clearly you know this organization is being used to like um it's been run ruled and controlled by higher um freemasons caucasian freemasons in power um and and they are used to like patrol um their neighborhoods they're being used to um, keep a watchful eye on the rest of the black community for these um, Caucasian Masons and if you are not aware a black Freemason is only able to get to 33 degrees and Freemasonry but um, Caucasian Freemasons okay the original Freemasons okay they are able to get to 33rd and the third degree okay which means they will forever be over you they will forever have more knowledge than what you all have um secret knowledge information and things like that and they would never allow you all even those of you who are black masons they would never allow you all to surpass them thus they are still your boss thus they are still your slave drivers because you do everything that they tell you to do and that's just a matter of fact you cannot deny it you can be mad at me for saying so but it's in fact the truth so you can just be mad at yourself because you're the one who took the oath. Nevertheless, um, you all are Satanists. You're doing sex rituals in your Masonic lodges. You're doing Satanic practices in your Masonic lodges. Okay, um, and the powers that be are using the Black Freemasons to set up and sacrifice Black people um, who they see as less than them. You understand me? They also use them to recruit other people. They use them almost like scouters. So. Um, people who seem to be um you know um they try to make it seem like you know they're just a group of handsy men or whatever i'm sorry no matter how talented or skilled you are no matter how handy you are ain't no manly man who is handy ever needed to be a part of any satanic cult or group to be a man you know what i'm saying or to be handy because they try to play it off and make it seem like oh we're builders we're carpenters we're we're businessmen we're hard workers stop it stop playing we're very educated you know stop it stop playing with yourself okay be honest with yourself and then you can be honest with everybody else child they ain't got nothing at all to do with it and what you use is a surface front for everybody else you know what i'm saying but baby, they ain't got nothing at all to do with it because um, you ain't too much of a man because y'all get <laughs> y'all get turned out from the moment you are even selected to be recruited into Freemasonry in the first place. Perhaps that's the reason you wear aprons. Nevertheless, moving right along, um, my spirit guides tell me that black. Freemasons are in, um, involved in the in prostitution, drug, and human trafficking rings as well. Okay, so um, anybody who um, is in the know, who um, who would research and track and trace such things or whatever, know these are operations. These are things that has been going on for a very long time. There are millions of billions of dollars that is made off the sex trade, that is made off prostitution rings, that is made off of human trafficking for various different reasons. And no matter how horrific it is, even your people in power every once in a while standing before you play and pretend like they care about such matters, they really don't because they are willing participants in such matters. They're just putting on the front for the masses. Um, those in power are the ones who benefit from these operations. Thus, you should know these very three things will never end. They make billions of trillions of dollars off the sex industry, off the prostitution rings, off of human trafficking, off of drug trafficking, okay? So my spirit guides tell me that these black Freemasons are involved with these rings, okay? Um, that means they're involved in being couriers, um, drug traffickers, um, prostitution rings and everything. I mean, you've got people who is running prostitution rings straight out of their church, okay? Um, 
all kinds of things, okay? From drug trafficking to human trafficking to prostitution, they are involved and they use, a lot of times these elite, these higher ups, they use these black masons, no matter what degree they are to the to white masonry, they will always be seen as under them, as less than them, which means they have to follow their orders. That's just not a matter of facts, okay? I didn't make that up. I don't want it that way. That's just the facts, okay? So a lot of times, you know, these elites, honey, they sitting up in their mansion somewhere sipping champagne, snoring cocaine, or doing whatever it is that they want to do, honey, while they, you know, send an email, make a phone call, shuffle their money around, do whatever they got to do, and, and, and they have these, you understand me, these frontiers here, these puppets here to go out and do the dirty work or whatever it is that they want done, and they do it. It's just as simple as that. Okay, so, um, and, um, so my spirit guides are telling me that black Freemasons are initiated through sodomy, okay, which is anal sex. For us. So for all you women who are um, married to men who are Freemasons, baby, don't get it twisted, child. If um, they Freemasons, <laughs> they like some booty love, you hear me? Because for them to be a part of these organizations, the initiation process, child, is for them to be sodomized. They have to be down with gay homosexual activity, whether you know it or not. Now, those of you who are wives and y'all are Eastern stars, y'all are aware of this because you all's initiation process is... Um, you know, done done with women and men or whatever. So y'all have to partake in same sex initiations and, and different things like that or whatever. But because the um a man in power head of Freemasonry, they control even the Eastern stars or whatever, they still are partake. Um certain ones of them partake in the rituals and the initiation process and things that goes on amongst the eastern stars okay so yes honey my spirit guides are telling me all these secret societies that y'all know about um i don't care how rough and tough they act they talk they walk honey they all going baby because to be a part of these organizations no matter what type of front they putting on amongst the people child trying to play pretend like they you know heterosexuals like you know um they women love us they actually hate women to be quite honest um but you know and they all too willing to 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 be turned out they all too willing to be involved in sodomy and in anal sex and different things like that and this is how they are initiated this is how they are broke in and the higher up and degree um, that they are then they get to break other people's in so you know to initiate them or whatever. So my spirit guides tell me that black Freemasons take orders from the elite, which I kind of, you know, I briefly explained to you up here, okay? Also, my spirit guides are telling me that um, black Freemasons um, sellouts, um, well, black Freemasons are sellouts to the satanic powers that be as well, okay? So, um, So, um, excuse me, y'all. When I pause like that, I'm listening because my spirit guides are communicating with me. Um, just give me just a second. So, the next thing my spirit guides were telling me um, is the elite's plan to use the black Freemasons to destroy the black community and the black human race. Okay? This is what they use them for, okay? And I'm going to tell you how they've done it. First of all, you got to get credit where credit is due. Whether you feel like it's right, wrong, or indifferent, or whatever. And, I mean, you know, we just have historical facts of all kind of horrific things that have happened in history um, at the hands of these individuals high up in power, child. But you got to give credit where credit is due because um, they have been masterful at... Um, persuading, coercing, you know, and, and just invading, you know, our race or whatever. A lot of the things that go on, it isn't it funny to you that it's only our race that that is <laughs> is actively involved in these type of things. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, 
like I said, the, the, the Freemasons, these Freemasons who have sold out to the satanic organization, the, you know, they walk around like they're so high and mighty, like they're so knowledgeable, they're so smart, you know, they're so much better than everybody else. But what they don't understand is when the powers that be get through using you to kill off your own people, to kill off your own race, guess what? They're going to get rid of you too. You understand me? Because when the cookie crumble, when it all go down, baby, you ain't got no place in their broncos underground. You understand me? You can't go with them. You know, I'll really be off to space hunting to create their new race or whatever it is that they planning to do. You ain't got no spot there. So really, you, you sold out for nothing. You know what I'm saying? You sold out for temporary comforts. Like I said, you sold out for a few incentives, temporary incentives. You sold out for temporary positions, titles, and roles. And in order for you to get those positions, to get those titles, to get those roles, you betrayed your own people, child. You betrayed your own people. Um, and I'm just and just to be quite honest, to be to, to be real with you, the way that um, the Caucasians in power have done this, like I said, they were a masterful at doing this because never in history ever have you ever seen an original um, black organization created by black people. And they were racist against white people, but at some point they allowed white people to join just so they can keep a watchful eye on them. And then they mind screwed them and tricked them into, into working against their own people. You understand me? This is what the Caucasians in power have done to the African American man. Okay? And they do so willingly. But never in history have you ever seen a white man run to a black man to set up his own family. To set up his own race. You ain't never, ever seen that in history. But y'all all too willing to do that to your own kind. And you literally walking around here like you somebody. You must be better than me, honey. Because you a mason. Child, please. Child, please. Tell the truth. Be honest with yourself. Y'all been tricked. Y'all been tricked. And that's what that is. And that's the reason why. See, those are the real secrets within the organization. Those are the real secrets um, that you all are hiding um, amongst what y'all are really about, what y'all really have going on, what you all are really doing. And you you are solely doing it to your own right. Why? Because that mess that y'all about, that y'all do in the black communities, you ain't going to know why communities doing that. They will smooth take you out, baby. They will smooth take you out. Y'all don't go to no white communities doing that. You do that in your own black churches. You do that in your own black communities. You do that in your own black neighborhood. You do that in your own black family. You do that amongst your own black people. And then you too coward to say so. Y'all too coward. I mean, y'all some of the most pathetic people I have ever seen in my life. You Satanists. Y'all worship Lucifer as your God. And you too coward to even say so. You too cowards to even say so. Don't you know that even Lucifer, y'all clearly have a, his, uh, a, a history of knowing that Lucifer is jealous. Do you honestly think that you're going to worship Lucifer in secret and he is pleased? Yeah, Lucifer going to continue to use your behind and then get rid of you. Why? Because you was too silly to even uh, uh, praise and worship Lucifer. I'm just sorry. If I have made a conscientious decision to praise and worship Lucifer, I'm not going to do so in secret. Y'all cowards. You cowards. It ain't nothing, no amount of nothing. Nobody could pay me either to work against my own kind. Have y'all not seen enough of this? You, you, you talking about 400 plus years of our people being oppressed, of our people being killed and destroyed, and then you go and sell out and help them? Something wrong with y'all. I'm wrong with y'all. Real talk. And whether you know it or not, the sad thing about it, guess what, baby? It ain't no even no rehabilitation for you. Ain't no cure for that what y'all got. You understand me? Ain't no medication, ain't no treatment, no nothing. You just sick. You understand me? Y'all are lying. The truth ain't in you. You messed up in the mind, the body, and the soul. And you can't be too mad at the white folks in power because they seen your weakness. And they took advantage. They used the power, the skill, and the abilities they had to take advantage of your silly, idiotic behinds. Who was all too willing. 
all too willing to sell out just so you can have a, 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 a better way of life. But the only reason why you you looking better, you dressing better, the only reason why you got a nicer car and a nicer house and staying in a nicer neighborhood and you dress better and you walk better and you talk better and your education just a little bit better is because you a seller. You turned against your own people for that. That's what that means. <sighs> Gosh. So like I said, the elites plan to use, they, they, you know, they been made the plan. They already are using the black masons to destroy the black community and the, and, and, and the black human race. This is the reason why when it's time anything go on in black communities or black people, you don't hear nothing. You don't hear from no black mason, no black boule, no black pastor, no black evangelicals, no black uh, 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 civil rights leader, no, no, no black nothing. You understand me? No black gatekeepers, nothing. Because they speak when they speak when they told to speak. That what they do. That lets you clearly know right there. They sell out. Y'all ain't figured it out yet. And many black folk that they done allowed to get in these darn positions that they got. Yeah, they done gave them jobs. They give them jobs because if you if you, if you got enough sense to be kind of smart, they trying to figure out a way to recruit you and have you working for them. For the purposes of them. Okay? They don't really care nothing about you like that. But if you had the audacity to be kind of smart or be kind of handy or be kind of talented, they want you on their team. And the only reason why they want you on their team is so they can watch you a little bit closer and then manipulate you to work against your own darn people. And y'all all too willing to do so. This is why you sacrificing your own children. This is why you sacrificing your, your, your mamas and your daddies, your siblings and things. This is why y'all about that life. This is why y'all do that. Y'all all too eager to. For some money. Y'all do anything for money. And guess what? The white folks in power, they know that. They create the money. Hell, they own the Federal Reserve. It's nothing for you. These people got trillions of dollars. These people would never run out of money. It's nothing for them to offer you. Several thousand. To, to, to sell your soul. And sell out your own people. It's nothing for them. To do so. So my spirit guides also tell me that black Freemasons, um, they they will be used to also usher the black masses to the slaughter for the powers that be. So, um, you know, you have different people who talk about, you know, the end of the world, the, you know, the apocalypse and this, that, and the third. How you want to look at it? You know what I'm saying? When she hit the planet and it all go down, baby, they are going to be using these black masons, these black sellouts to usher you all to the slaughter. So when the day come, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and it's just major destruction everywhere. And they want to usher y'all to the FEMA camps. They're going to use these black sellouts. These black masons to take. Just, just listen to the government. They'll do what they say. They know what right. They got your best interest at heart. And you thinking it's going, it's going to be so chaotic. And so horrific outside. That you're going to think that this is the only way to save you and your kids life. And as soon as y'all load it up on them buses honey. As soon as y'all get to them, uh, uh, them, them FEMA death camps. Child you're going to be executed. You understand me? Do you Have you not seen the mass grave coffins? They can stack by 10 bodies in each coffin. Do you understand me? Think it's a game when it's really not. They're going to use your black masons, your black boule, your black pastors, your black civil rights leaders to usher y'all to the slaughter. This is the reason why everything the government say, they have to get in behind, they have to push it. I'll take this shot. I'll do this, do that, do the third. Whatever the government say, they have to push it. Because they sell out. That's how you can easily identify those of them who are sell out. You can easily identify them. And the powers that be, they're going to use these Freemasons for, 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 for any and all of their agendas. Period. Period. So my spirit guides tell me that um, 
uh, also that these black Freemasons, that those of uh, them who are in these um, black organizations, whether you're talking about uh, secret societies like Freemasonry, or you talking about sororities and fraternities, um, all of these old secret society groups, old member only recruitment only groups or whatever, um, these. Uh, as well as these powers that be my spirit guides are telling me that these black masons and these other um occultish groups um are are worshipers of lucifer they worship lucifer as their god okay and that's what they that's what um they do not tell you all Okay, they use these uh, Freemasons, the black ones particularly, to target their own community, to target their own people, to target their very own people. And if you notice, they only do it in in, in their neighborhoods amongst they they own people, because they you don't see them going to the white folks. You don't see no black Masons going to no white neighborhood. Setting up no uh, 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 middle class to upper class white folk. No. They do that in their communities. Because they about that life. And that's what they do. And this is the truth ladies and gentlemen. This is the unspoken truth in which they do not tell you. They are initiated witches, warlocks, okay? They have demons that are conjured up in them. That controls their mind. That controls their body. That controls their soul. Okay? They are being controlled by your government. And your government is running, ruling, and controlling these churches, these organizations, and all these things. <laughs> all these things is your government... Um, Controlling. Okay, so y'all, that concludes the spirit reading pertaining to Freemasonry uh, or Black Freemasonry as well. A lot of those things pertain to White Freemasonry as well. A lot of they, you know, rituals are the same. A lot of, you know, when, when speaking to the things about sodomy, when they speaking to um, the things about sex rituals, satanic rituals, when speaking um, about things about uh, uh, targeting people, setting up people, blackmailing people, um, uh, uh, the premeditated murder of people and different things like that, prostitution rings, drug rings, human trafficking and things like this. They are all involved in these things or whatever. But um, the the Caucasian uh, uh, Freemasons, they, they carry this higher threshold over the um, over the black Freemasons. They know it. They will never admit it. But they know they under gag orders. Okay, that's what them oaths is taken for. That's why they sworn to secret. Honest. Anytime you a part of something and you gotta take an oath to secrecy, you got the you got to be the way somebody else wants you to be, and 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 all and, and all this crap just to be a part of a certain club or group or organization or something. It's a cult. You understand? It's a cult. That's exactly what it is. But they took they 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 they, they too sissified to say so. You know, them the main some of the main secrets within their organizations that they are, you know, they they shy away from from telling um from telling people. But it's matter of factly the truth. Okay. It is matter of factly the truth. So before I get into these extra messages um, that the archangels wanted me to express and share with you all, um, I am going to go through a series of something called FYI I Know. Um, because um, these very Freemasons in which I speak of, these very powers that be... Um, you know, they are partaking in these type of things in which I'm about to share with you all, okay? So many of you already know that I am a target. Um, they have been every, every since 
I they they knew that I was awake and I had broken from their that mind control and programming, honey. They scattered like roaches to try to set me up, to shit me up in some kind of way, shape, form, or fashion. So they have just been actively behind the scenes. You know, just really hating, just really doing all kinds of things to hurt or to harm me and my child in various different ways. You know, it's, it's bad enough with um, the illegal invasion, the, um, uh, the violations in which I have to suffer and endure from what is being going, what, what is going on. Um, it, it, it's bad enough that my human rights, my civil and my constitutional rights are being invaded and violated. And it really kind of pisses me off because these very people who are a part of these satanic secret societies, these very people who are a part of such evil, wicked, sinister, heinous things, these are the same lawmakers who have created these laws. And they don't follow no laws, honey, because they follow as the crowd is do what thou will. You understand me? But everybody else is supposed to follow the rules, regulations, and bylaws in which they come up with. And so they, they create these laws. They will stand before you and tell us how, how we free and how we got rights and all these other things. And then they invade and violate. They turn it right around and they invade and violate our rights every single day. What is the point in lying to people and then illegally invading and violating them? So from being under unwarranted 24-hour surveillance, you know, even in the privacy of my own home, from individuals um, planting cameras in my own home to illegally stalk and harass me. You understand me? From having trackers and cameras put on my car to my phone being tapped. To every time I turn on my camera or something on my phone, I'm being I'm being recorded, I'm being listened to, I'm being tracked, I'm being watched at all times. All of these things are illegal. Like they are literally committing felonies every single day. They are breaking the very laws in which they created. They are the domestic terrorists and they too pussy to say so. They stay telling the American people about some terrorists somewhere else on somebody else's land and somebody else's darn country. Well, we got terrorists right here in the United States of America. But ain't nobody said nothing. Don't nobody want to talk about that. You understand me? You got the you got the United States military, the CIA and the FBI that is terrorizing a citizens right here in the United States of America. But ain't nobody saying nothing about it. Ain't nobody doing nothing about it. And you still coming out standing before the people talking about we the people. Home of the brave and land of the free. That is just a doggone lie. This is this is home of the slaves. You understand me? That's what this is. This is home of the slaves. But they ain't going to be real. They ain't going to tell you about that. They ain't going to tell you about their active approach, their active plots, plans, and schemes to depopulate. Depopulate ain't nothing but a fancy word for, for a, a genocide. Genocide ain't nothing but a fancy word for murder you. Murder you ain't nothing but a fancy word for kill you. Then what they want to do? We talking about people so high up in power that it is those of them who are human. You understand me? But we're talking about individuals so high up in power that they, they foolishly think that they want to kill off everybody else in the world. And only they want 2% of the wealthy supposed to be here on planet Earth. And however many few that they have left, they want them to just be their brainwashed, dumbed down, uh, uh, mind control, robotic, artificial intelligence, have human have a uh, 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 Jordan some type of crap, you know, slave for them. Then what these folk really think? This is what they really trying to do. Now, I don't know who came along and who died and left their ass in charge. And <clears throat> I don't know how it is that you want to destroy the very world that you did not create. I'm not sure who died and left. Uh, these folk in charge to think that they can kill off all of humanity in which they also did not create. But they think they have so much money and so much power and so much privilege that they can actually do so. 
And so they actively take this approach to destroy all of humanity. And these folk, they don't have no sympathy, no empathy, no type of remorse, no type of regret. They soulless beings. They don't care. They don't care. And see, that's why they stay in hiding. They stay in the shadows. And they really just lie to the people. They continuously to lie to the people because they don't want this civil unrest. But I just feel like if they as big as bad, if they say they ill, then why not tell the people the truth? Why not just come out and tell the people? You ain't free. We lied to you. You don't have no rights. We just told you that to shut y'all up. We just want to, we just created this illusion, this smoke screen to make you think you had rights. So y'all will obey. So y'all will follow our instructions. But y'all not really free. We legally collect every last one of your data. We have the ability to manipulate and control each and every last one of you. Anytime we get ready, we'll kill any one of you or your children. See, because this is what they're about. But they're too pussy to come out and stand before the people. They come in, they just come out standing before the people and lie. Instead of coming out standing before the people and telling the truth. You know, everything is a subliminal message or a riddle or a sign or a symbol or something. Instead of them just telling the truth. But this is what this is, y'all. So anyway, we're going to get into this FYI I know. So for those of you, see, I don't necessarily speak on everything I know. You understand me? But here, I'm just going to let you know that I know. Okay? So I know about your attempts to take my life with the mark on my back and with the targeted price on my head. I know about your attempts to hire your hitman. I know about your plots, your plans, and your schemes to kidnap my child. Because you really don't want me. You want to turn my daughter out for your benefit. For your ill wills. And you want to kill me. I know about your dirty, corrupt, paid off cops, judges, lawyers, and doctors. I know about your staged accidents. That you would like to uh, uh, happen if not to kill me, but seriously injure me. And after being in the hospital, paying off one of your doctors is just going on and finish me up. See, I know about uh, uh, your arson attempts. Your plotting and planning to burn down my home with me and my child in it. I know about your shady tricks to send someone... To play pretend that they like me or they love me or they really want to be with me. Just so you can get close to my daughter. Just so you can create some type of illusion for me that you think that I would fall for. Just so you can lure my child away. I know about your setups to try to have me convicted without a warrant. Without a charge. Without a, a conviction at all. I know about your attempts to try to imprison me. I know about your attempts to try to uh, uh, commit, have me committed illegally. But see, I know it bothers you. It worries you because you can't tell nobody she lazy, she crazy. She's a drug addict. She's an alcoholic. She's a bad mother. She's a prostitute. She got uh, men running in and out of house. She's neglectful. You can't tell nobody that because you know that ain't the truth. And you watching me and listening to me every day. So you couldn't even fabricate that if you wanted to. I know you mad. So I know about your bogus break-in attempts to rob me. To rob me and my child of the little bit of everything that we have with ain't, which isn't much of nothing. Your attempts to have my door kicked in by thugs. Your attempts to have crackheads beat me up. Your attempts to sabotage and ruin my car. To cause some type of wreck. Catastrophic accident. Yeah. I know. I know about your attempts. 
to harm me and my child right here in our own home. Waiting for the, 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 the perfect opportunity to try to run in and sneak in through the windows. And assault me and my daughter. I know about your attempts to have somebody to break in, to tie me up, to rape me, to give me some type of disease. See, y'all are sick in the head. You're wicked. You're beyond wicked. It's an understatement of just how wicked and evil you cowards are. But I know. See, I know about your hacking and your tracking and your desperate attempt to steal my money. Because for some reason, no matter how hard I've had to work, no matter what I have endured, you don't want me and my child to have nothing. And I make the bare minimum. I just know how to budget. I know how to balance. And I know how to make sure that me and mine don't go without nothing. While being celibates. And unlike you all, just because I'm celibate don't mean you can buy a bed. Because see, that's what y'all with. So I know about your trying to forcibly make me sell out, sell my soul to your cult. Just so you can try to tie me up in your prostitution ring. So you can pimp me out. <laughs> Silly rabbit tricks are for kids. I don't understand how you think I have made it to the age in which I am. And you thought that you was going to be able to pimp me out. <laughs> Y'all owe me money right now. It's so foolish to think of that, baby. My conversation cost. Back when I was living in sin, baby. I didn't have to get down with the get down if I didn't want to. My conversation cost. <laughs> so y'all are so foolish. You are so foolish to think that I will be damn near 40 and you going to take me and forcibly turn me into a prostitute. Stop it. Stop it. That's so silly. It's so silly of you to think of to uh, of doing such a thing. What's even more silly is that you have used my fake, phony, fraudulent family. You have used um, uh, 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 government officials. You have used law enforcement. I'm talking dirty cops, lawyers, judges, everything to pull off this grandiose plot against me. See, it wasn't enough that you stole my inheritance. It wasn't enough that the United States government sits in secret behind the scenes watching me and listening to me every day as well as the people that they have clearly seen. Who have plotted and planned against me. Who they clearly know committed insurance fraud. And stole inheritance from me and my child. Yet they sit back and have done nothing. The United States government has sat back. And covered up murder. Amongst all other kinds of things. But it's okay sweetheart. It's okay. See, because it was the enemy's plot, but it was God's plan all along. I'm not scared of you. And I'm not afraid of death. I'm not afraid of no enemy, and I'm not afraid of no demons. Now, don't get it twisted. I'm not cocky. I'm not an arrogant type of person. You understand? I just know what to know. Okay? I know what I know, and I know that I'm not going anywhere until the Almighty Most High is ready for me too. But on that day, see what you don't understand is the Most High is speaking through me to speak out like this. To let the world know what is happening. What is going on. So when you, 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 you think that you are so clever enough to take out me and my daughter. See, this one hit that you won't be able to cover up. 
this one hit that your 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 fake news media won't be able to fabricate lies about. Cause I got people in different area codes watching, baby. I got people, I got foreigners over in other countries watching, baby. And they sure enough, they might not be able to say nothing. They might not be able to do anything to help me and my daughter. But that's not what it that's not what it's about. Because see, my archangels and my guardian angels in the most high is watching over me and my daughter. I'm talking about I got the whole hood watching. I got the entire industry watching. I got the United States government watching. You understand? So it don't matter how many of you dislike me. It doesn't really matter how many of you working against me. The whole world can see. And see, I know you all had this plot to try to set me up, to shut me up, to take me out. I know y'all had that plot. But see, God's plan behind it all is if and when you decided to take me out. See, it's going to set off a chain reaction of events, civil unrest, and a revolution to the likes of which you ain't never seen before. Because once and for all, the masses will be shaken awake immediately to know exactly what this world is really about. What is really going on. And how the people of all races have been lied to, have been bamboozled. So even if I had to be the sacrifice for the greater good. So might it be. But the whole hood know. Everybody know. Even people in power know. That's looking at my fake phony family. That think they clever with what they did to me. You letting everybody in the hood. Everybody in the government. Everybody in power. Everybody in the industry to know. That y'all some of the low down dirtiest scum of the earth. Y'all disloyal. They will never trust you. Any of you. By, by, by how you have treated, how you have done somebody that's supposed to be your family. They see how you treat your own people. They damn sure ain't going to entrust you to be around them and theirs. And for those of you who high and mighty, big, bad bullies in charge in the government. See, people is vastly waking up to, 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 to y'all schemes, too. People are finally deciding to listen and to watch and see because, and, and, and this was used by a tactic that you created. See, you created programming to brainwash people, but it's the very programming that's what that, that, that has people tuned in right now. You know why? Because the masses... Even the masses who are unawake, they love some drama, they love some mess, they love some gossip, and they love being entertained. They love them some scandals. So they listening and they watching, baby. And should anything go down, <laughs> are they all going to know? Just who is responsible. So yeah. This one target that y'all was foolish to target. This one target that you thought didn't have a backbone. That you thought was too weak to speak up for themselves. That you thought was not strong at all. But you were sadly mistaken. I don't have no death wish. But I don't feel your evil. I don't feel your wickedness. I don't care what set you claim. Or how much power, privilege, or money you got. When you, when, when you have to commit the very, uh, 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 excuse me. When you have to break the very 
rules, regulations, and bylaws that you created. You all have to you all have to to um commit felonies on a daily basis to pull off the stunts that you are pulling off. When you in such desperate need to do those things, I need it not say anything. It's being proven amongst the people who y'all really are and what y'all really about. What you're really capable of. So no, I don't have no death wish. But I don't fear death. I don't fear your evil. I don't fear your wickedness. And that's how they they, they that's how they they sucker a lot of people in. And because most people feel like if you can't beat them, you might well join them. And if they ain't feeling like that, they 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 scare folk to death. See, y'all pumping fear in people's minds and their bodies. And see, you got the ones that'll go along with the plot plan and the scheme just because they are in fear. Well, I'm not afraid of you, honey. And I teach my child not to be afraid of you. Because I know full well my worth. You understand? And I know full well um, that I ain't going nowhere into a higher power that is more powerful than anybody here on this earth. Say so. And even then, I'll be back. I have been back many times before. Until so this thing come to a complete and utter end. So I ain't worried about it. I'm rich on this land, and I'm rich in spirit already. So your intimidation tactics, your manipulation tactics, they don't work on me. Because I ain't worried about it. I'm already rich. I have more wealth in spirit than I have here, honey. That's why I'm trying to teleport up out of here. I'm trying to get to another mission. I'm not even from here. I'm just visiting. But you know, you know, you got to be, you got to be, I'm trying to keep it clean for y'all. You got to be that chick, you understand, of some kind of importance when my name is the topic of everybody's conversation. That ain't for no reason. And although my entire life you have tried to make it seem like, oh, I'm nothing, I'm nobody, I'm not good enough. You was just lying to yourself. Trying to hurt or harm me does nothing but curse you in your life. That black magic, that voodoo that y'all constantly doing on me, that is nothing, that is going to do nothing but bounce off of me, baby, and come right back to you. You are cursing yourself. Because me and my daughter, we are protected by spirit. We are protected by high power. And I understand this is a high power in which y'all don't believe in. But it don't make it a lie. It doesn't mean it ain't true. You understand? Because in fact, me and my daughter are protected. Yeah, y'all keep trying. Y'all keep trying and you keep trying. And that's really because y'all are demonically possessed. Okay? Y'all controlled by them demons that y'all have conjured up inside of you. So those demons are are is what um those demons are what control your mind, your body, and your soul. So a lot of things that you all do is compulsive. You feel like you got to. Nevertheless, y'all. Nevertheless, we're going to move right along into the Archangel messages that the Most High would like for me to share. This is Leap of Faith, okay? Mm -hmm. This is um, by Archangel um, Metatron. Believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy, okay? That is what I'm doing right here today tonight with you all okay this is a very leap of faith if i don't do it who's going to do it because nobody speaks about these things 
They have implanted fear in everybody, everywhere, uh, pertaining to speaking about these things. But I'm sorry. I mean, we dine off by the dozens every single day. When you going to start speaking up? And see, I don't discriminate. You understand me? A lot of things that the people in power have done is historical fact. You can find the information anywhere. Okay? You see the truth in plain sight right before your eyes. You understand me? But I don't have to come on here and speak as to what uh, other races of individuals outside my race have done. This is already known. This is already unknown. Some things I, I, I speak on because some people, especially those who are still asleep, they, they tend not to be aware or have forgotten. But I don't discriminate. You understand me? As well as I can speak on about that, I can speak on my, my fraudulent, low-down, dirty, fake, phony of a family that really ain't my family. I can speak on the black masons, these black supposed leaders in my community who are nothing more than hypocrites working against their own kind. And what I was saying earlier, have y'all not figured out that all of these, out of all these people that these folk have hired, first of all, get it out your mind that your vote counts for anybody. Ain't nobody worried about your vote. Them people don't think about your vote. What the hell make you think people that run, rule, and control the whole world worried about your vote? What you think? Who you want in? They don't do that. They don't care nothing about that. That's just still put in place to make you think you got some rights, son. They choose who they want to be in certain positions. You understand me? That's how I know that only sellouts is in all of these prominent positions because they got to be. Otherwise, they don't get them positions. Whether you voted for them or not. You understand me? But all over, sweetheart, you got black folk. They didn't hide, got working at the, the Department of Human Service or, or CPS in your neighborhood. It's called different things depending on where you live. Okay? Black folks working at HUD. You got black police officers, black detectives, black firemen, black agents. You got black senators, black governors, black mayors. You got black uh, 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 student board members. You got black uh, uh, media representatives. You got black uh, celebrities. You got black people, uh, you know, in government in all kind of positions. Black military officials, black FBI, black CIA, they didn't hire black folk all over the place. But you best believe they all took an oath. They didn't take an oath to protect and serve the American people. They didn't take no oath to uphold the Constitution. They didn't they take no oath for that. That what they lied to you and told you they took oaths for. They took oaths to praise, to worship, to serve, to protect. These satanic powers that be with what they took oath for. And y'all ain't figured it out yet. Now all these black folk in the high power prominent position, you ain't figured out why in the hell is the black community still suffering. And we got all these black people that's in black positions everywhere. You got black millionaires and billionaires. You got black mega pastors. You got black uh, uh, AACP people. You got black folk all over, but they ain't doing a doggone thing for the black community. They ain't they ain't lifted the black community up yet. Why? Cause they ain't allowed to. And y'all just get so excited. Y'all get so excited every time you see somebody of color get in some type of position, huh? Every time you see, and they ain't working for you. They ain't working for none of y'all. They working for these powers that be. Camilla Herb is working for these powers that be, child. Ben Carson working for these powers that be, honey. The Obamas working for these satanic powers that be. Now you got to get credit where credit is due. I do believe myself, regardless of what y'all say about them, I believe Michelle Obama was the best first lady we didn't ever had. You understand me? We didn't went through a uh, uh, first ladies that can speak about 20 to 30 different languages but don't talk to nobody. 
We done had first ladies who thought they were bad and bushes and were just as stuck up and they wanted to be and came up with some of the ridiculous, most ridiculous policies that anybody ever had. Like no child left behind and children been left behind ever since. You understand know I me? Mean? So, they still sell out. They still working for these satanic powers. There'd be no doubt that they wouldn't even gotten in positions that they was in. But you have to give credit where credit is due. Frankly, you know, I feel besides Kennedy, you understand, that, that you know, Michelle was the best first lady we ever had. They used Oh, Obama to 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 they lock him, but technically we ain't never had such a cool, laid back, suave of a president. Now you know they they sell out. It's a whole lot of people that sell out. You understand me? But on the surface of who they are, it is what it is. And you just have to get credit where credit's due. But it, I mean that's just what it is. You understand me? So you got all these black people. The point is you got different black people in different type of positioning. But yet, they ain't, ain't no black folk been helped nowhere. Nowhere. Black folks still been killed up in they, in they own neighborhoods every doggone day. I'm going to tell you the reason why, the main reason why I'm not afraid of the white folks. I'm not afraid of white folks, like I said, not because I think I'm big, bad, I'm arrogant, and I'm cocky, or anything like that, or whatever. I know the white folks is capable of just what they've been capable of for all these hundreds of years. You understand me? Ain't nothing new under the sun. I know just exactly what they're capable of. Ain't no use in being afraid of it. You understand me? We got whole historical facts of what they capable of and what they do. And if you got enough common sense, you would know that you liable to be killed by somebody your own race before you would ever be killed by somebody outside your race. And that's just statistical fact. And it's a shame. But I'm not none of these black leaders. No black plasters. No black deacons, deacons, bishops, reverends, evangelists. No, no. Black boulets, black masons, black gatekeep, none of them doing a doggone thing to uplift, to awaken, to arise the black communities. We the only race that is segregated within our own race. Don't no other race do the things that our race is a part of and do with their own race, with their own people. Not now, other race, y'all. And y'all walk around here and you think because you got a little change in your pocket because you you were sell out and you were involved in secret societies and things. Y'all assume that y'all own and popping, honey. Y'all run around here think y'all living y'all best life. Child, you don't even know what the best life is. The only reason why you think you living your best life is because a white Caucasian person in power told you this what a what a best life entail, and I'm gonna give you just a little bit of piece of so you assume you living your best life. Y'all just foolish. You foolish. Ain't nobody else gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Who gonna keep me from saying it? So here we have the ten of Michael. Okay. A situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will follow. Put the past behind you. Praise God. Okay? Praise God. I hope and pray that these deadly detrimental situations that are happening in this world, not only amongst our race, because like I said, I'm not prejudiced. I care about all kinds of races of people. It's a lot of people who have seen unfairness and injustices and different things. Hell, even the middle class white folk have been lied to and bamboozled and used and abused. The Mexicans and the Latinas have been used and abused. You understand me? The Native Americans have been used and abused. You understand me? So I care about all kinds of races of people. The Africans, the Jamaicans, the Haitians. You understand me? 
But it's these powers that be that try to 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 to, to divide us according to our race, and in the brown skinned races are the main races who is segregated within their own freaking race. And whether you look at the Caucasian folks, the Asian folk, the Russian folk, the Chinese folk, them folks, the, even the Mexican folk, the Latino folk, them folk, Hawaiian folk, they are well knit and stuck together. You don't see the foolishness amongst their communities, amongst their families, amongst their neighborhoods like you see in the black community. And you don't even understand the very ones that you sold out to make a mockery of y'all, a mockery of our race every single day. Anything bad, they put a black face on it. Now we know cartels exist and ain't now they ain't one black person a member of it. We know the mob exists and ain't one black person a member of it. You understand me? Real gangsters wear suits. I'm talking about like clean three-piece suits. You understand me? But when you hear gangster, when you hear criminal, when you hear thug, they put a black face on it. Homosexuality was not originated amongst our kind, but they love putting some black gay folk on blast. Y'all swear, y'all swear y'all living y'all best rainbow life you ever could have wanted to live. And you don't even, you, you, you can't even tell, you can't even see how the beast system has programmed you. Have infiltrated your mind and your body and turned y'all out one right after another, left and right. When the men was taken out the home, so the women would end up single mothers on welfare. That was set up. There was a whole operation. That was a whole operation. Demonizing the women was a whole operation. Sexualizing the children was a whole operation. Turning out, feminizing the men was a whole operation. And it has been predominantly done amongst our race. But y'all ain't nobody saying nothing. Ain't nobody doing nothing. No, y'all said that in the secret society. And y'all all too eager to be sodomized. To be initiated in. You swear you something. You swear you something. But you can't even be real about being gay. Get up out of here. You know how many gay pastors it is that stay trying to, to trying to uh, 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 right and wrong somebody else? That, 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 that stay trying to, to, to uh, um, tell you how to live right. And they ain't even living right. Because they smell like bar booty hole. They got booty on their breath. These is facts. How you gonna write a wrong me? You can't tell me nothing if you was a part of a cult. You can't tell me nothing if you done sold your soul. You can't tell me nothing when you a hypocrite. What you gonna tell me? What you gonna say about me? When y'all around here out here part of prostitution rings and human trafficking and things. Drug trafficking and things. Y'all in the side of me and all kinds of things. What you gonna tell me? What you gonna say about me? Huh? Child up. The next card we have here is justice. Fight for justice and equality. I am doing just that. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up, okay? Rulings are gonna be made in the world's favor. Those of us who are awake, who are aware, who are preparing, who are staying vigilant to the wickedness of this world. And I don't care what kind of demons you got working up in you, baby. Y'all, you foolish to think that you can't be destroyed. All of you done upset yourself up on the pedestal and lied to yourself. Thinking you gods, baby, you gonna be knocked down to your place. Because justice, real justice, will prevail over all of this world. And that comes from Archangel Ragab. 
the wheel, Archangel, uh, Dramil, I believe it's pronounced. New beginnings, end of delays, a chance in direction that offers happiness. Praise God. Praise the Almighty, Most High God. Because we can see the wickedness of this world. They are fooling the very elect every single day. Many are called, but only few of us are chosen. Y'all too weak to speak like I do. See, I say the things that some of you are thinking, but you're too afraid to speak like I do. I ain't worried about it. But this wheel is turning. New beginnings are coming. The end of the lays. The ends of the, the heartache and the suffering and the pain of the people. It's coming. Seven of Michael. There is a better course of action available. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all details. Okay? The seven of Michael here is, is, is saying there are better courses of action that are available pertaining to these situations. We don't have to sit back and allow ourselves to be used and abused just because you're afraid of the big bad people in power who got more money than you, who got more privileges than you. Because that's what they dwell on. That's what they depend on. Keeping you in a state of fear. They thrive off of fear. They thrive off of your fear. This is how they are able to continuously manipulate you. How they are able to continuously intimidate you. So the king of Gabriel, okay? Generous, inspirational, dramatic, driven. Keep your eyes on the big picture, which is what I'm doing here. When I speak to y'all about, uh, uh, about these things, this is about more than myself. This is about more than my daughter. You understand me? Because we all are going to leave this earth realm one day. I came back here in this life. To heal and to help as many people as I possibly can. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. That's what I just explained to you all. I have a genuine concern for others. Even while the wicked is threatening my life. It's threatening the life of my child. It's threatening my health and my well-being. You, you don't have too many others that's going to speak to you like this. That's going to be real with you like this. That actually care about what you feel. What you enduring. Telling you what's real. Even at the detriment of their own self. I ain't from here, no way. You got to be a stone cold fool that want to stay here forever just to be a slave. And for all of y'all that's carelessly, look, you can be as freaky as you want to be. You understand me? You can be as freaky as you want to be, have as much sex as you would like. Okay, I ain't got nothing to do with that. That's your body. But what you do not have to do is carelessly and recklessly keep bringing children into this world, especially if you are away. Ain't no way in the world that you can be away and you keep bringing babies into this world. You trapping men with babies. Ain't, I mean, it has been proven a long time ago that you can't purposely get pregnant to make no man stay with you. Stop doing it. But in this day and time, you got men out here that's trying to trap women with babies just to keep them from being able to succeed like they're trying to do to me, honey. Child, please. If you are awake and you keep bringing new life into this world, it is considered cruel and unusual punishment. Ain't no way that you can, you can read the historical facts of what the American people have endured. There is no way that you can be awakened to even the things that has been hidden from the people. Yet you and, 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 we, and, and we have been enslaved. 
the way we have, yet you bringing new life into this world for what? Just for them to be enslaved? That's cruel and unusual punishment. Number 21, the world, Archangel Michael. A very happy ending, coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight, okay? I hope and I pray that there is a happy ending that will come to this world for, for all races of people, okay? Because we have been grossly invaded and violated. We have been lied to by, by, some, some, by the wickedness that is in high places. Who don't care nothing about any of us. That's why they, they continuously try to create this race war. They want so badly for us to hate one another and kill one another every single day. They create the chaos to try to get the order that they want out of it. Order out of chaos. Ace of Ariel. That's a lucky day. New resources of money, time, support, a change in job or, or promotion. Okay? So I feel like that was more of a personal message that came out for me. However... I feel like more people being awake, being aware, being prepared, protecting your, 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 your family, not only your family, a lot of people, um, uh, who, who, who are spiritual, who do believe in something higher than themselves. It's a lot of people who waste a lot of prayers on material things. You know, you need to understand that what is yours, it is yours and you will have it regardless. Pray for things that most people don't pray about. Like health and well-being. Like sanity. Like stability and security. You understand me? You cannot be the richest person in the world and have stability and security in the same mind. For good, you, you, you can have good health and well-being and a person can talk about you like a dog and say that you're the, you the poorest person in the world. But if you are in good health and a sound mind, baby, it is worth more money than you could ever win, that you could ever find, that you could ever in, obtain, that anybody could ever give you. Pray about things that matter. Pray for protection over your mind, your body, and your soul. Because the enemy is out here lurking, seeking who it may devour. The enemy wants your mind, baby. This is why they want to put chips in your brain. You think they come up with these things for no reason. They come up with these things. They create these things. And they stand before the people. Tell you in your face. Put the truth in plain sight in your face. Yet you still thinking you living your best life. Why they want to put chips in your body to control you. They want to control your mind. Your body and your soul. Pray for protection over your mind. Over your entire body. The inside and the out. Because the enemy works from the inside and work his way out sometimes. And sometimes the, the, the enemy will use other to attack you from the outside to hurt your flesh, which ultimately will hurt your inside. Pray for protection over your soul. Don't sell your soul. I don't care how good the enemy make it sound to you. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world but lose his own soul? The high priest. Um, this is um, by Archangel uh, Hanil. Powerful psychic insights, reflection, and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace. This is what I have used to, 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 to give you all this guidance and this support on today. Okay? Powerful psychic insights that have come from the most high. 
I don't work for evil. I don't work for wickedness. Uh, you understand me? I ain't in here chanting and rocking and doing no seance, seances. You understand? Conjuring up no demons, calling upon uh, or Lucifer or, or no wickedness or no demons to possess my body or anything like that, baby. I block that type of negative energy. You understand me? This comes from a higher power that is greater than all of us. And I got no reason to lie to you. I put my own self at risk by talking to you like this. And it don't really much matter what the haters think about me. Because if you thought I was born for you to like me, then you the ignorant one anyway. Queen of Ariel. Mature. Practical. Generous. Happy. Nurture yourselves and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful. Practical and wise advice, okay? So this is what I'm using to help you all, to heal you all, okay? A level of maturity, uh, uh, being practical, you understand? Being generous with the gifts that has been um, given to me, you understand? Even, even a sense of, of, of happiness uh, to the degree, even if it's for other people, no matter what me and my daughter are in doing, because somebody needs to hear this. Somebody needs to know this. Okay? And you all need to nurture yourselves. You need to love yourself. You got to nurture yourself and love yourself before anybody out in the world can nurture you or love you. You understand me? When you nurture yourself, you love yourself, you spoil yourself. You do nothing but show people outside of you who thinking about coming your way to know how they got to step to the game and treat you based off how you treat yourself. When I get myself together, baby... It's not to look good for nobody else. I want to look good for me. You understand me? I ain't got to be hot and ready for nobody else. To get nobody else the business, baby. I spoil myself, look good for myself, nurture myself, love myself, regardless to what anybody else think of me. Because I can. Because I can. And don't sit around, don't sit around waiting on somebody else to come sweep you off your feet. To be that uh, 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 that queen or that knight in shining armor that you want them to be. You understand me? Do that for yourself. And, and, and what's for you is for you. So if it's destined, if you are destined to have that, you're going to have it anyway. And if not, then rejection often is God's protection. Maybe you need to tap into instead of worrying about the, 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 the finest man with the fattest wallet. Worrying about the finest woman with the fattest ass or the biggest breasts. You understand me? Perhaps you need to tap into the, your real purpose of why the Most High put you here on this earth, honey. Because you ain't, you, you, you weren't put here to stay here forever. You have a mission. You have a purpose. You have a destiny. You have a job to do. And then you, 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 you transcend and you go on to a higher. You understand me? To where you really come from. Where, where all your wealth is at. Where you don't have to endure. Where you don't have to suffer. Where you don't have to wonder. Where you don't have to worry. Where you don't have to be without. That's the purpose. So here we have the chariot. Again, Archangel um, uh, Metatron. This talks about determination and self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. Okay. So you all, um, with this message, okay, um, you all need to learn how to, to have a sense of determination and self-control over the things in which we are enduring as a people. 
It is so easy to hate the people closest to you, to want to harm the people closest to you, to want to destroy the people closest to you. That's what the enemy, that's how the enemy wants you to feel. That's what the enemy wants you to do. But in the end, we're not doing nothing but harming our own selves. You know, uh, 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 hum humankind, mankind, womankind is not a particular color. You understand me? That was that was something that was broken down, that was created by man. It ain't no particular color. Any one of us is cut open right now. We all bleed the same. We all got the skeleton, same skeleton on the inside or, or, or beneath our skin. You understand me? So all these other things. It's, uh, it's nothing but smoke screens and illusions that has been created by these powers that be. Y'all need to get back to nature. Get back to what is natural. As many uh, 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 gurus and, and, and supposedly smart people there are in the world, have nobody ever realized that everything natural in this world that was created just is before human beings were were created and put here on this earth everything was as it already was the animals the sea the land grass trees flowers fruits vegetables grew all these things naturally you understand me? So the destruction that we see on today, this on this destruction has only been created since mankind has been here. It wasn't until it, it was touched by man, until individuals came along and started staking claim to this, that, and the other. Started dumping poisons in the air, killing off crops, killing off, uh, 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 you know, all the natural resources of things, polluting the water. Have you all never wondered how all of these things naturally existed before we got here and it was all perfectly fine? Before man touched it. They have come to steal, kill, and destroy everything that they create. Everything that they come up with it has been about destruction. You understand me? At one point in time, beautiful, big, great, beautiful fruits and vegetables just grew on trees naturally. These people in power... Look how many trees that they have cut down. They don't own the trees. Guess what? Land existed before human beings were on this land. Grass naturally grew. The rivers, the lakes, the, the oceans already existed before they got here. They don't control none of that. They don't own none of that. Why? Because they didn't create none of that. Electricity was already flowing through planet Earth. They just figured out how to use it and how to charge us for it. We are surrounded by about a 70% of water. Yet they figured out how to charge us for it. You can go outside and breathe as much fresh air if you want to. But they have figured out how to charge you for air. Things that naturally exist. Even the animals are provided for in every way that they need to be. Well before humans got here and started staking claim to certain animals and putting them in fake habitats and locking them up in cages and zoos and things. And using them in circuses and things as slaves and little, and, and, and little show things. To make money off of them. They was free. They had the natural resources. The natural food. And different things that they needed to survive. These things were not destroyed. Until mankind. Was put here. And this is what these powers that be. Are trying to do. They are trying to destroy. The nature. Within us, we come from a natural place. 
natural beings and they have done everything in their power to destroy to alter to change to manipulate you understand anything that is natural I come from the natural state trust I know this is what your powers that be have done and this is the reason why they spend billions of dollars every year. They want you brainwashed and dumbed down. They want you under mind control and program. They want you uh, 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 not thinking about nature. Not thinking about uh, 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 nurturing. Not thinking about these natural things that are here in the earth. Because they done program you that they got everything you need and just... Do whatever you got to do for money and come to them for everything you need. Now, you don't even know how to naturally survive. Many of you don't know how to grow nothing. Many of you don't know how to survive outside in the wilderness or anything. Many of you don't, don't have any of those life skills at all. Because you have been trained and you have been programmed. To run to your very oppressors for any and everything. And everything that they got ain't natural. Everything that they tell you to be ain't natural. Everything that they about ain't natural. So you have been taken from your natural essence of who you are supposed to be. Divine Guidance. Um, this says the search, uh, the search for the meaning in life. Consider, um, cons consider this approach. Um, surround yourself with wise teachers and or friends. Okay, I feel like on a worldwide level, this is what people need to do. Surround yourself. This ain't about you believing me. This is about you. This is about me motivating you to use your own mind. This is about me making you be a free thinker. I want you to think. About what I'm saying. I want you to use your own mind. I want you to get off the video games and your little phone games and 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 twerking and popping and locking and dropping and getting high and partying and kicking it and all those things that you like to do that 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 you know and the sucking and the screwing and everything else that you like to do and 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 research the things that I'm saying. This ain't about you liking me or believing in me if you don't want to. This is about me trying to heal and help you. And I know this is the very thing that the powers that be don't like. They don't want you to think. They just want you to follow their command. They just want you to obey. They just want you to follow their lead. Believe in, 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 in nothing and nobody else but them. And don't question their authority. That's what they want you to do. But I dare you. I challenge you. To think for yourself, to use your own mind, to do your own research, to link up with other people whom are awake, whom are aware, with wise teachers and, uh, and, and wise friends. You understand me? And find out the true meaning of life. You understand me? Consider an alternative approach besides what we have been told by these satanic powers that be. Because baby, they don't have our best interests at heart. They don't have our best interests at heart. Okay. So here we have the three of Raphael. Reasons to celebrate a community of friends. Happy announcements regarding relationships or children. Okay. So, you know, the many of you. Many of you, this can talk about communities of people, friends, you know what I'm saying, being in communication with each other about what I'm speaking to you about right now. You understand? With with relationships that you in, even with your children, have these talks with your children. It's the young people that they really want to infect the most. You know what I'm saying? They want them to be disobedient and disorderly and fast and out of control. They want to to, 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 to to turn them out and and, 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 and and trigger them to be a part of this sinister, reckless lifestyle that they promote and they are pushing on the young so that they can they can infiltrate their minds because the fact of the matter is the, the, the people, all the folks that's in power, they all senior citizens. 
They all sent a sentence. All the ones that is really, really ultra wealthy and way on up there. Now, true enough, they got their own bloodlines. They got people under them, of course, that will take their place when they get in. But the people who are in power right now, who are running, ruling, controlling everything, these folks are senior citizens. You understand me? And at some point, it's going to trickle on down to the rainbow children that is in this world right now and the ones who are still coming who are going to be the ones that are in those positions and running, ruling, controlling everything and what you don't want is a bunch of brainwashed, mind control, rainbow children potential children of the coin to be knocking off everybody because of this sinister idea, this sinister plot that those in power is, is implanting into their minds right now. So communities, friends, need to come together. You need to have happy announcements and communications amongst each other. Amongst the different people you got relationships with. Amongst your children. And challenge them to, the, to this information. Use your own words if you like. But it's about thinking for yourself. It's about using your own mind. And that is the very thing that the powers that be do not want you to do. Page of Ariel. Reliable, clever, educated, balanced. An excellent opportunity will be offered. Scholarships or the pursuit of education. Time to get to work. Many of us, you know, we have, you know, turned a blind eye uh, to to learning more. Even if you are smart, even if you feel that you are educated, you have this balance in your life or whatever. Um, you know, none of us, not even myself, you can always learn more. You can always learn something else. I would never parade around like, oh, I'm a guru. I know everything. I'm better than everybody. I don't even think like that, okay? I'm, such, such foolishness don't even come out my mouth. You can always, there's always more to learn. And more often than not, people get into to the things of this world and how much fun you can have and, and doing this and doing that or whatever. We need to embrace, um, I, you know, just you challenge our own selves, challenge our own minds with, with learning more. Even if it means educating yourself, even if it means researching yourself, because everybody can't afford to go to a college, even a community college or a trade school, you know, and especially not a university or something. You do on your level whatever it is that is in you to do to better your own self, to better your own health and well-being, to better your own mind. That's what it's about. You understand me? But for many people, there could be some excellent opportunities that come through. Even scholarships, you understand? This pursuit, uh, the, 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 the pursuit, the real pursuit to happiness is through your education. It is through your, uh, 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 your mind. The advancement of your mind and your knowledge. Because those are the things that will enable you to live a healthier life. And you can have those things without having to sell out, without having to sell your soul. I'm sorry what they told you, but it ain't the truth. You don't have to sell your soul to have anything. You still can chase your dream. You still can uh, 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 have hobbies. You still can embrace your talents, your skills, and your abilities without having to sell your soul. If more people stood up. And stood against such foolishness that one have to be a part of and endure and, 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 and go along with just to succeed in this world. Then y'all will soon realize that it wouldn't be nothing that these folk can do that's high up in power that require you to do such stupid foolishness just for you to make it. Because you don't have to do that. I know you don't have to do that. I'm not just saying you don't have to do that because it's what I'm saying. The most high say you don't have to do that. Because the, the, the gifts, the talents, the skills, the abilities that you have wasn't given to you by those in power. That convince and coerce you to do such idiotic things for you to make it. You ain't got to be sexually harassed and raped and sodomized on the job just for you to, uh, 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 to be successful. 
You don't have to be turked out and humiliated just for you to be successful. And, and, and that's what these satanic powers that be tell these folk. Everybody they recruit, they, 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 they trick you with these fake, phony, fraudulent, old garbage, BS, low down, dirty contracts that they come up with. Then what they tell you? You ain't got to you ain't got to be a part of no blood sacrifices for you to make it. You ain't got to kill off your own children, your own family and things just for you to make it. I feel like Hakeem did on coming to America. We said, who told you that? You understand me? You don't have to be a part of that. That's what they told you. That's how they was able to lure you in. That's how they recruit you. They dangle all kind of nice things that you ain't never had before your eyes. And it piques your interest. And they get you to the point where you're willing to do anything to make it. Because you're tired of suffering. Because you're tired of struggling. But the most high say you ain't got to do that. I'm the one that gave you them blessings. I'm the one who gifted you. And I put them blessings and them gifts within you. For you to be a blessing and a gift to somebody else. But you ain't got to sell your soul to do it. Why would you sell your soul to do something that you are already gifted to do? Without the permission or the approval of nobody. Six of Gabriel. Congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project. Awards, scholarships, and, and or promotions, okay? So, um, many of us, many of us can have this congratulations available for us, okay? Many of us can do a wonderful job. For the American people in a whole. This not me. I'm not just talking to brown skinned people. I'm talking about. I'm talking to people all over the world. People of all races. To deserve to be appreciated. Deserve to be loved. Nobody deserves to be used and abused. Manipulated. Controlled. Intimidated with fear. You don't deserve that. That was not. That's not why you were put here on this earth. And ain't nobody else saying it. I watch and I'm listening to a lot of different people. And no matter how many life coaches you got, how many ministers you got, how many motivational speakers you got, how many people that are rich and they famous and they in power, ain't nobody saying this. So I'm going to say it. I feel like it's my job to say it. Somebody got to say it. Because sometimes until somebody says something, a lot of people won't know. A lot of people won't know. Strength. Archangel Ariel. Strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. This is something that we all, this is something that we all could partake in, okay? We all need the strength with us, within us, excuse me, to be graceful and kind to one another. This will, 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 will cause us to have a boost within our own uh, 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 self-confidence. You understand me? I don't know nobody about no anybody else, but um, I have given a lot more than I receive. And when I give, I don't give in an effort to, to, to um, get something in return. You understand me? I, I enjoy, it's a pleasure to give to other people, to have something that you can bless others with. But more often than not, I see people who will never go without, especially when it comes to finances and some of the simplest things that we, uh, problems that are in the world. I don't understand why these people who are filthy, who are ultra rich and, and just, uh, uh, just ultra wealthy, they won't stop these things. The queen alone, if I had the queen's money, there would not be homelessness or hunger in, in the world, in, in, in the United States, even if you just want to stay in the United States. But the queen got enough money to spread all over the world. You understand me? 
Do you know why do we have millionaires and billionaires and trillionaires and people that, that have vast amounts of money? Them people alone could come together and end world hunger and homelessness tomorrow, but they refuse to. You have to wonder why. You have to wonder why. Now these are the same people that's liable to stand before you talking about they care about we the people. No, they don't. No, they don't. You understand me? If I had the queen's type of money, baby, I'd be up 24 hours a day. I would have my, my spirit guys would have to force before me, make me to get some doggone rest shot because I'd be up all day, every day, paying for cures for people. Do y'all not understand that all these diseases and even all the medications amongst pharmacia did not exist before human beings were put here on this land? Guess what? Not only did them diseases not exist, but the medications that you see exist. The problems that exist in this world right now today did not exist before human beings was put here. That means that human beings are the very ones who created these viruses, who created these diseases. And then they came along with a lot of these things and they came along with different type of medications and different things or whatever. Got people uh, uh, hooked on them. Got people in desperate need from them and then they hijacked the prices on these medications. You understand me? So you can't even afford it. But this life or death medication that you really need or it give you worse side effects than what it is that you're trying to fix. And then they created viruses and diseases and things that they have the cure for. Like cancer. But they refuse to give the cure to the American people. Ain't no, there ain't no real research and study steady going on about no cancer. They been had the cure for cancer. Hell, there's been holistic doctors who have came up with the cure for cancer natural. From natural resources. Guess what? And they popped up dead. No thanks to these powers that be. You understand me? But the bottom line is through strength and grace. Through kindness. You know, this will boost our self-confidence through forgiveness. We could be a bit, this could be a better world. This could be a better place. We could be a better people. But so many people are hell bent on, 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 you know, with these demons whispering in their ear. They so hell bent on, on everything. Let me, let me, let me ask y'all something real quick before I get to these last two cards here. Let me ask you something real quick. Ask yourself this. Why is it? That everything that these powers that be stand for, they are about, or even the things that they convince you all to be a part of and do. Why is it that it all ends up in wickedness? If you are righteous and what you are doing and what y'all are a part of, why does it all entail things that cause misery, that cause pain, that cause heartache, or is gross, or is uh, 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 invasive, or is, you know, you know what I'm saying, demeaning, painful, like everything. That these folks stand for and everything that they push off on other people, especially these very individuals who sell out to them. Even if you, you don't have to, you don't have to convince me, you good people. All I want you to do is think about, you know that you, what you were part of. And what y'all about and what y'all stand for and what y'all believe in. All I'm asking you. Is this why is it that what you believe in, what y'all are a part of when you sell out, why does it all equival evilness, wickedness, things that hurt people, things that harm people, things that end lives, things that cause destruction, things that cause pain, things that cause misery, things that cause sorrow, things that cause demonic possession, just just wickedness. Everything. Forget the benefit that one gets offered to sell out and be a part of these things. I need you to look at what you are a part of and what you believe in. If what you are a part of and believe in 
either can hurt you or other people, then perhaps you're not as good as a person as you may think you are. Because you are involved in things that are so, it's just ritualistically evil. It's awful. Nobody takes pleasure in individuals being humiliated except for the people who are humiliating those individuals. Nobody takes pleasure in causing another human being pain except for the individuals who are sick in the head enough to get off on causing other people that kind of pain. That's the point. Nevertheless, we have the star here, okay? And this is Archangel, I believe is Jafil. Jafil. A dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of diff or uh, the end of a difficult situation. Praise God. Okay? Praise God. Because it, there's people all over this world who need some type of um, some type of help, some type of healing, some type of uh, end to different uh, difficult situations in which that they are enduring. Okay. Um, this card, this star card, really um, tells people not to give up, not to lose faith. Um, and your hopes, your wishes, your dreams. Your aspirations, everything is. This tells you not to give up faith, okay? And you, and not only not to give up faith, but that doesn't mean that you have to give in to something um, that will cause your very destruction either. You just have to keep the faith. Um. Next, last we have the Four of Michael. Insights that come from a quiet meditation. The need for more sleep or time off. Seek relief from stress. So a lot of people are, you know, suffering from stress, from depression, um, from anxiety. Um, this card is really telling people that you need to take time um, to just, you know, be in this solace of quietness, you know, sometimes. Meditating sometimes, just going within you know, um, getting more sleep, taking time off, nurturing yourself, loving yourself, um, you know, and, and, and also being the change that you want to see in the world. You understand me? Before I was ever able to see what was wrong in the world, what was wrong with, with those closest to me and around me, y'all need to understand, okay? Um, I had to look myself in the mirror. And make a change within myself. This is how I am a better person and a different person on today. I would never stand before you people and be like, oh my gosh, yeah, I've been perfect my entire life. I'm the best. You know what I'm saying? Like, who does that? Okay? Everybody has made mistakes. Everybody has fallen short of God's glory. You understand me? Everybody, um, but it's about how you get up, how you dust yourself off, how you pick up the pieces, how you get up, how you try, try again, and how you always, you continuously strive to be a better woman, to be a better man. You understand? Learning from your mistakes and, and, and doing all that you can. So I had to look myself in the mirror and be that change you understand me the change that i wanted to see in the world i had to change what were the things that was wrong with me first before i was ever awakened and this was smack dead in the middle of my awakening y'all before i was ever able to see what was wrong with the world what was wrong with my surroundings what was wrong with the people around me that i thought loved me that i thought cared about me i hadn't a clue i did not have a clue that I was surrounded by so many wicked, evil, hateful people. I had no idea I was surrounded by witches, warlocks, and demons. I, I didn't have a clue that I was surrounded around people who was doing black magic and voodoo on me and my child. I had no idea that I had people uh, in my fake, phony, fraudulent family who would sell out to these satanic powers that be. I had no idea that they was really Satanists and, and, and Luciferians. I had no idea that they was a part of secret societies and cults and all kinds of things. These people was around me, y'all. I had no idea. 
that these things was going on and I could not see it. I could not see it until I look myself in the mirror. So this is not me sitting before you trying to play pretend and act like, oh, I'm the best. I'm the greatest ever. I'm so perfect. I never made no mistake. I wouldn't even lie to you like that, child. What I'm telling you is, I had to look myself in the mirror. You understand me? Just like uh, Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror. Just like, um, who was that? Bruno Mars and, 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 and Lil Wayne's um, Mirror. Okay? You got to be the change that you want to see in the world. And it starts with you looking in the mirror and changing yourself for the better, for the betterment of your own health and well-being, for your own uh, 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 mind, body, soul, for your own mental stability, for, your, for, for the, 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 the sake of your children and your loved ones and your immediate family. And then you will see. All the wickedness that's around you. And you will be appalled at the individual. Because some people you looked up to. You believed in. You understand me? I was appalled. I was hurt. Like seriously hurt. When I realized that the church. Was as sinister and evil and wicked as it was. I've lived a lesbian lifestyle. Do you, you don't understand how for gay people... Um, you know, coming up in the 70s and 80s and different things like that, you was treated like a straight abomination for, for that type of lifestyle just to know the very people that treated you like this were sellouts and behind the scenes partaking in all kind of freaking nasty creepy things. But you go to church and they stand behind their pulpit and they want to right or wrong you. They want to tell you about your life. When they committing crimes on a daily basis because of the sinister things that they are sold out to. How dare they? I was appalled by these things. To find out that the church, they, they are lying to their congregations. You understand me? These people actually worship Lucifer. And people are in their church and they're in their playing pretend to some hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is a slave ship. They ain't telling y'all the truth. They really worshipers of Lucifer. You can be mad at me for saying so if you want to, but you the one lying to whole congregations while you're robbing them blind. Why you got these people pay in here paying for prayers and playing, paying for blessings? Why you get rich off of them? Y'all, I was hurt. There was people that I looked up to. Me being a loner, y'all. If you seen me laugh when I was a child, I was so miserable when I was younger, y'all. I was so unhappy and so miserable. If you caught me laughing. Or smiling at something. I was either watching TV or a movie or something or listening to music. I kid you not. I have never idolized anybody like they want us to. But uh, there were people I looked up to. So when I seen like women in, in, in powerful positions and things. Like my favorite poet is Maya Angelou. You understand? And these, to find out, to, 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 to know what I know on today and, and know that these people were a part of satanic organizations, is heartbreaking. When I see, growing up, when I seen people in, 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 in powerful positions, no matter what race they were, white women, black women, all kinds of women of different races. You know, I was like, wow, you know what I'm saying? It made you feel like, you know, anybody could make it type of thing. But that ain't the truth. Anybody can't know make it. Yeah, you, 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 yeah, you, you can make it. If you decide to sell your soul, you can make it. You know what I'm saying? If you, you, you decide to screw your way to the top, you can make it. If you decide to, 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 to rub your knees raw, while you giving head all the way to the top, you can make it. If you decide to hop on that gravy train, you can make it. I ain't know these things existed like that. You understand me? So to find out these things, these people that I looked up to, these people that I believed in, y'all, it hurt my soul to the core because these were this this these folks was these some of these folks was all I had growing up. 
was the only bit of hope that I had growing up. When you are a loner, when you don't have any friends, when you treated bad by people that's supposed to be your family, all you got is yourself and whatever avenues you are able to latch on to that make you feel better, that make you keep enduring life. You understand what I'm saying? Listening to music made me feel better. I didn't idolize these people, but I looked up to, to some of these people. I'm like, they so beautiful and they, you know, and, and they made and I was just naturally drawn to the arts. And okay, it breaks my heart to know that these people have to endure what they do. It breaks my heart to know that they would even be willing participants in the things that they have to to even make it. But the people I swear that hurt me the most, y'all, was, was the church and was my fake, phony family. To realize that they are a, 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 are a part of such sinister things as this stuff, it is so heartbreaking. It is so heartbreaking. I cannot believe that I ever believed in these people, that I ever looked up to these people. Especially people in government and in power and things, especially women in government and power. I used to look up to these people and used to think they were so courageous and so brave and, you know, really strive and work for women and work their way. So I thought they literally worked their way to the top, not that screw their way to the top, you know. And then come to find out the defaults is witches, they Satanists, and some of them right now today working against me, huh? I didn't even know at the time when I was looking up to them, they were the very ones that was involved in my childhood trauma and abuse. I used to look up to them. Hmm. I had no idea that these very same people was the ones, the very ones, who stole my innocence. They didn't steal it. They paid for it, actually. But they stole it from me. I used to look up to them. I used to believe in them. I used to actually believe that Bill and Hillary Clinton cared about black people. I was like, wow, it seemed like these was the only white folks that cared about black people. It wasn't until I woke up until I learned different. It wasn't until I broke from the mind control program and that I learned different and it hurt me to the core. Because I looked up to these people. Okay, y'all, I'm just going to get off of here because I'm getting emotional. Um, I thank you all for listening and for watching. I thank you all for joining me on tonight um, for the uh, Poetic Expression Moment as well as the Spirit Reading and the other divine messages that came through from Archangels. Um, as I always tell you all, um, Take care of yourself, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If any of you have any suggestions as to um, anything that you would like me to speak on, if you have any suggestions on any missing mysteries or murder mysteries that you would like for me to look into, I would be more than happy to. Um, you can do so through the comments to let me know, or you can email me at... Um, um, Tiffany Ziegler 60 at gmail.com if anybody would like to donate to the channel it would be greatly appreciated you can do so through cash app at dollar sign tiff diamond 36 um, like I said I greatly appreciate it um, if you would all would like to donate to the channel um, it doesn't you know you don't have to or whatever but if you do I thank you whatever fiber of my being and it would go to good use and to give back to help and to heal others and um, put forth um, more into this channel to help and to heal as many as I possibly can um, I'm wishing each and every last one of you peace, love, and light. And until the next time, guys, namaste.